Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Hope Kids Online. Now I wonder, as you've been doing your daily exercise and going for your little walks or your bike rides or whatever it is that you do when, when you get out of the house, I wonder, have you been seeing in windows these big pictures of these colourful things? Rainbows, that's it. I wonder if you've been looking at pictures, or maybe you've coloured in some pictures of some rainbows, and you've stuck them in your window. And you know, people up and down the country are doing that right now to say thank you to the people in the NHS, which is our National Health Service. Because these are people who are helping us on what we call the front lines. They are brave men and women who are going out of their way to make sure that the whole country is safe. And that's great. But you know, I wonder, do you know where rainbows come from? Oh. Do you know where they started? Do you know who made rainbows? Well, hey, I'm going to tell you a story today about a man called Noah who was around the very first time we saw a rainbow and what rainbows really mean. Are you ready? Okay. It was a very sad time in the history of the planet. Everybody had turned away from God. They decided not to listen to God anymore. They were going to do what they wanted, when they wanted and how they wanted because it made them happy. Making God happy didn't matter anymore. It was all about them. And they had abandoned God. But there was one man called Noah. And Noah, oh, he loved God. Noah was God's friend. Noah would talk to God, he would listen to God, and he would do the things that God wanted him to do. And because of this, God would share his secrets with Noah. And one day, God came to Noah and said, bum, 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 bum. Noah! Oh, hi God. I see the people being evil. Yeah. Things are pretty bad down here right now. And I am not pleased. Well, I mean, I think that's fair enough. I mean, after all, you made everybody and, and you provide everything for us and, and you, you give us everything we need and they don't want to know you and they'd be mean to each other. And I have decided to flood the earth. Uh, fl fl flood, flood the earth. Uh, but uh, you, um, Noah, okay, uh, uh, are my friend. Whew. Okay. I want you oh, yeah. to build a boat. Uh, a, a, a boat? A giant boat a, a, called a big an ark. Gi giant ark? I'm going to get a pen and paper. I will send you all uh, uh, kinds uh, of uh, animals. Uh, uh, animals. Uh, yeah, you yeah. will take your family, family. Uh -huh. and as much food as you can gather food. Uh -huh. and put them on uh, the all, ark. All on the ark. Uh, on the ark. Okay. Uh -huh. And I and will you keep living. you safe. Whew. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. Ark. Animals. Family. Food. Oof. That's a lot of work. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get right on it. Thanks, God. So that's what Noah did. He built this huge boat called an ark. And it was big enough to hold two of every single kind of animal that there was. Animals like... Lions, tigers, giraffes, dogs, geckos, mice, monkeys, pigs, rabbits, Pokemon. What? Owls, horses, chickens, cows, pandas, sheep, and ducks dressed as Batman. And little by little, all the animals came to Noah and started getting on the ark. And one day, everything was ready. All the animals were there, all of Noah's family were there, his wife, his three sons and their wives, and they all got on the ark. And God closed the door so that it couldn't be opened and then, the rain came. It rained 
like it had never rained before. It rained so much that the grass started disappearing and then little hills they started disappearing and in the end even the mountains disappeared and the whole earth was flooded and all you could see for miles around was just water but there was Noah on the ark with his family and all the animals safe and warm and protected by God and it didn't stop raining for 40 days and 40 nights that is a long time for it to rain we don't even get that much rain in Wales and one day the rain stopped and the skies cleared up but you know it took a long time for all of our water to go away Noah and his family and all the animals were on that ark a lot longer than 40 days and 40 nights but eventually the time came where God said to Noah Noah <laughs> Oh. Yes, Lord. You and your family and all the animals may leave the ark. Ah, oh, that is fantastic news. I can't wait to tell them. Thanks, God. And so they did. Noah and his family and all the animals came off the ark onto the dry ground. Come on, everybody! Let's go! And God said to Noah, I promise never to flood the earth again. Oh, well, that's great news. I don't know if I could stick another 40 days on an ark. Whenever the storm comes and the skies grow dark uh -huh, uh -huh. and the clouds are full of rain, when you look up, and see my rainbow. Wow. You will remember my promise. Wow. And that's what rainbows are. Rainbows are there to remind us and help us to remember that God has made a promise to all of humankind, to all the people ever. And God's promise is this, that he will never flood the earth again. I don't know if you remember from the story, but in the story we learned that Noah and his family were locked on the ark for 40 days and 40 nights. D do you know how long 40 days and 40 nights are? Give or take. It's about six weeks. And do you know how long we've been in lockdown? That's right. Six weeks. You know, Noah and his family were stuck on the ark for as long as we have been in lockdown. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Well, hey, there's something really important that we can learn about Noah and about his time on the ark. You see, what we didn't mention in the story is that when Noah and his family came off the ark and they saw the rainbow and God told them the promise, the Bible says that Noah came off and he started worshipping God. They started praising God and thanking God for looking after them, for taking care of them, even during this massive, massive storm where the whole earth was flooded. Now, I don't know how long lockdown is going to be. Hopefully, it's not going to be much longer. But, you know, during this time of lockdown, like we said last week, we can pick up our Bibles. We can know what we believe. We can pray to God. We can ask God to help us. And, you know, when we come out of lockdown, whenever that might be, we can praise him. We can worship him. We can say thank you, Jesus, for helping us through that time of lockdown. 
But we can also do that now, can't we? We can also do it during lockdown. We can worship and praise and thank God during lockdown. Isn't that amazing? So instead of mourning, instead of complaining, instead of getting bored, maybe we should praise God in the lockdown. Now, we're going to do things a little bit differently this week. Because I have no craft this week. But I do have something for you to do. I want you to grab our friend, the piece of paper. And what I want you to do, I want you to draw on the paper for me. I want you to draw maybe your favourite animal. Maybe a few of your favourite animals. Maybe you've got more than one favourite. Maybe you could draw the ark and what you think it might have looked like. Maybe on the water or with other things going around. Maybe you'd like to design a flag for the ark. Maybe Noah needs a flag for his boat. Maybe you'd like to design one of those for me. Go wild, okay? But as always, when you're done, take a photo, send them in, and next week we'll show them off. Well, hey guys, that's it from us for this week. Don't forget, send in your pictures, send in your questions, and let me know what your favourite Bible stories are, and maybe, just maybe, we'll have a go at doing them on Hope Kids online in the future. Well, guys, stay safe, have a great week, and we will see you next time on Hope Kids Online. Noah, take 500. Stop raining. And it didn't stop. Blah. Came off the ark. And the dry was ground. No, the ground was dry. Um. What, uh. Stuff happened? Um. Can't do it! I'm Skeletor! Ha 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 ha! My beard is becoming unstuck. And that's what rainbows are. And to help us remember that... I don't know. I wonder. I stop.